Hey everyone, I'm going to give you the best gearing you can do for PvP for your Prague and Ret Paladins for Season 6 of Wrath of the Lich King. I will give you some good alternatives, so you know, you don't have to get this exact list, because there's some alternatives that are almost identical and are barely different. And then I'll also show you the best Ret weapon if you want to play some Ret, as I hopefully will get that so I can mess around with it. So first off, you'll be running 5 set Furious. Now, they did give a 6 eye level bump to Furious, which is very nice very easily accessible obviously the shoulders and helmet require a little higher rating than the rest but no matter what everyone else should be getting the rest of those pieces our off pieces particularly the neck and cape we definitely want to get pve we get agility we can get our main stat the honor ones don't have agility they don't have strength so we're missing a lot of attack power when we have things like kings up and our talents like that divine strength and protection so first off we'll get pendulum of infinity this is a 252 it has haste on it which isn't ideal but nonetheless it's pretty much Still very good and it is crit agility with a socket tons of attack power way higher eye level and as you can see this drops off of hard mode general vzax on 25 men we have drape of icy intent there is one other cape which i think the other cape is slightly better however we can't get it for one reason in the optimal build we'll be going with the drape of icy intent 252 it doesn't have crit on it which is a downside however it does have agility a socket and a lot of good stuff that is from hoodier hard mode the other one that we would like to get is off of the code alpha thing with the algalon quest chain however you can only get one reward unless they change it to where you can do it multiple times so we won't be able to get drape of the skyborn with this setup then we will be going with just pvp belt and boots now the belt is also very good however we have access to this belt of colossal rage to get our hit cap that is off the iron council hard mode extremely strong but you throw a belt socket in here you have three sockets it's got all your best stats other than Brazil. absolutely amazing and obviously it is 20 item levels higher than your pvp alternative but of course the pvp alternative is very easy to get and for your weapons the pvp weapon is actually your bis as a higher speed than the ones that are available in pve for praying point two is very nice you'll attack so much faster it actually right here says requires a rating of 2350 but i checked in game it does say 2200 so it'll be a little easier to get than that but nonetheless still difficult so this one's the best because as Brazil mp5 is not the greatest however but the 1.6 speed plus Brazil makes it almost perfect the best alternative to this is going to be your valineer but i'm not putting this on here because that is very hard to get very few people are going to be getting that on this list and it does have a slightly slower speed which kind of does make it worse but Technically that would be BIS. That's the only thing I'm not putting on here that is BIS just because it's so hard to get and very few people will have it. But besides Valineer and this, of course the tier 1 version, the 1800 arena rating PP weapon is very good as well. And then from PvE you can get Constellus which is a 252 which I recall was off of I think Algalon, maybe even two bosses. But yeah, you get this off Algalon it seems and it is a 252 with a socket and crit but it's a 1.8 and it has mp5 but this is very good as well so i would say this is probably third the valineer pvp t2 constellus and then pvp tier one and then whatever after that and then for your shield very simple here fork of Algalon is amazing it's basically just a better wall of terror you can see they have basically the same stats except this has a socket and higher eye level so you'll get this however the pvp one is quite good as well so you could get this, obviously it costs a bit of points, but you'd go with this one over any of the others because you'll get some more spell power for healing and of course the crit chance. The high resil one isn't too bad, but I would still go with this over that. And then we'll be getting over to the right side. I already went over this belt a little bit. Then we'll go to the rings. So seal the betrayed king. This is the best ring. It's absolutely amazing. A socket, strength, stamina crit hit. And this one drops off of hard mode yog. So that's gonna be pretty annoying to get. But I, it's not no light. So I believe you can get this on one light Yogg. So not the hardest hard mode. And then this is why we weren't able to get the other cape. The Drape of the Skyborn. Because that is from the same quest chain as this. This one has armor pin on it. But nonetheless it's amazing. A 252 with a socket, agility, and crit on it. Absolutely amazing. I mean the only way this ring could be any better. Was if the armor pin was hit. That is the only way it could be better. Or technically even haste. But nonetheless amazing. So go for that, and then for your trinkets, Starkman Car Greatness I still think is Bis, and then Dark Matter is amazing. This is off 10 mana Algalon. There's two trinkets very similar. You have this Comet's Trail, which is attack power with a haste proc, and then you of course have Dark Matter with the crit proc, and crit is so amazing for Prague. So I would definitely go with this no matter what. And then there's some other trinkets, but one's just a massive hit one. And then just nothing else is that great. P1 is not too bad. The one with the on use attack power, because you can sync that up with your wings. 
I think Dark Matter is amazing. I assume it's better than Dark Matter Greatness, but I'm not sure. And then for your Libram, go with the improved Flash of Light, just from Arena Points. Pretty much all of the Librams, even if you're not 1950 rated, just they're all very good. They're very close. I believe the Furious is like 320 or something like that, 330 maybe. So very small difference. As you can see, this puts me at 4.39% hit with this gear setup. I do play with a Drainy Shaman in twos, and I will be playing with one also in threes. And it's very easy to have a Drainy in fives, obviously. If you're Horde or you're not playing with a Drainy, then you will have to do a different gear setup. It's very easy to modify this in different ways. Without a Drainy, I think this gear setup is a little bit better. The only thing you do is swap out one of the gems, like this Strength Resil, with a Strength 8 hit gem. Very easy to do, and that'll put you at 5.09% hit, which will put you perfectly there. Nonetheless, if even if you are with a Drainy and you have that hit, this is basically the second best gearing alternative because you just put on Warhelm of the Champion and then Furious Belt. Furious Belt, super easy to get. And Warhelm is off of Thorum Hard Mode. Crit hit, 252, Strength, Stamina, Yellow Socket with a huge Strength bonus, amazing helmet. This is only slightly worse than that other gear setup I showed you, but they're pretty much equal. This one just has 17 less Resil, Crit's about the same, and you get a little more hit. Great alternative. Like I said, just throw in an Orange Gym to cover up the 8 hit. And then besides this, there's a few other things you can do, but this is very solid, and as you can see, the weapons, neither one has hit on it, so you can easily swap this into your ret alternative. So Dark Edge of Depravity is pretty amazing. The only downside is it doesn't have the best speed and it also doesn't have crit on it. And then that hit will make it so you have to regear everything else, but it is a 252. So this is one of the top weapons for ret. Otherwise, Vulgarthar, Dark Blade of Oblivion. Armor pin's not amazing for you technically, but a double socket, really slow speed with crit, pretty amazing. The PVP weapons are not too far behind this, but they don't have a main stat, which is a bit of a disappointment and you want more damage anyway. So I would take this pretty much as your best setup. And then besides that, Hammer of Crushing Whispers is right behind it. It does have hit and it has a good speed, double socket. So I'd say this is technically right behind Vuldrathar and then you'd go to Dark Edge and then maybe Furious Gladiators play more. They're all very close though, but I would say Vuldrathar number one. So aim for that. If you can't get that, either of these are fine. I really all, I think all these are about the same. Have fun with the ret and you can gym it however you want and get those strength gems in here if you want. And you hit people hard. That is my BIS gearing setup for season six. I will be making more for other specs and classes. So let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video.